I said that I was gonna do this like a week ago, but like so many things have happened. Um, where do I start? I guess the main thing that I would have to say when um, not necessarily dealing with changes in your life, but anything that may be perceived as negative, you just have to first change your mindset. Like that's the number one ultimate thing. Because when negative things are happening, it's up to you to hone in all of the strength that you have and try to push yourself forward or in a sense push, push yourself through it. And you can't when there's negativity plus your mindset is negative also. So that's the number one thing. Number one thing is changing your mindset. I'm not saying trying to find trying to find a positive and everything, but just try to neutralize yourself emotionally and mentally so that way whatever you're going through, it may be something that you can control and nine times out of ten in life, you can't control these things. So you do have to just check yourself first before you push past that. Another thing is trying to I don't know how to explain this one. I feel like when something good is happening to someone and something bad is happening to you, you just can't be happy for them. Or some people, like, I'm not one of those people. I feel like I can be happy for someone even if I'm going through the worst of the worst. But you have people out there who, they're miserable and misery loves company, so they want you to be miserable. So you can just determine which person you are, what type of person you are. And if you're one of those people who are happy when somebody else is happy and they're going through good things while you're dealing with something negative, something that's negative, negatively impacting your life, then good for you. But I feel like you put out, you give back, you get back what you put out. So be happy for someone, like in their face at least. And it's all a mental thing. It's all a mental and emotional thing. And I'm not saying that a lot of people are not emotionally intelligent and that's fine but you have to have some type of accountability for yourself so you know just try to be happy for them I don't care who it is it can be a stranger it can be family a loved one because sometimes in cup in relationships when one one spouse or boyfriend or partner or whatever is doing good in his job or school or whatever and you're just suffering you're failing classes or you didn't get that promotion or whatever you just have a tendency to just you know, like, why are you doing so good? You know, like, that that negative energy just expels out of you. And you don't want to do that. That's not fair to the other person. Because you, you don't know how hard someone works to get to where they are. So, that's another thing. So, besides changing, like, your emotional and mental state, or at least trying to neutralize yourself, and that goes back to, well, how do you do that? Cope. Like, that's the biggest thing, is just try to find a way to cope through the negativity don't let it beat you down don't let it take over the path that you set yourself on because I think that's how a lot of people get lost and they get stuck in that deep depression and they don't make progress and then they're angry that they don't make progress and then it's everybody else's fault it's not their fault anymore and because so and so is happy you're not happy you're not going anywhere just try to help yourself that's the biggest one like try to help yourself put out what you want to get back if you want positivity to happen if you want good things to happen just you never know like, being nice to one person could be that domino that tips over to make, you know, your whole life do a 360 from everything, you know, not going right to everything, just, you know, so just try. I know it's really hard, and I know you have a lot of people in your life, which brings me to the, the third thing, like, if you have friends or people who are close to you, it can be parents, it can be coworkers or whatever, and you can tell when these people revel in your misery or they revel in negative stuff that's happening to you because they're always so perk. They're always so in your face and, you know, like, you got to watch out for those dang, that's crazy people. Because nine times out of ten, if you expressing yourself and they constantly hitting you with that dang, that's crazy, they're not listening. And nine times out of ten, they don't care, especially when they automatically jump into a problem that they had trying to relate to you. Like, no, just listen. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure that you're not attracting or you don't have people who are negative in your life while you're going through something negative. And I feel like that's a huge thing because us as humans, we kind of, some of us, I know we got y'all some loners and some people are loners out there, but we have a tendency to want company. We have a tendency to want 
something to make us feel comfortable or comfort us when we're going through something or hurting or whatever. So you just have to make sure that you're not seeking that comfort from someone negative and toxic because if you do that, then it's a domino effect. Everything is like, I feel like everything is a domino effect. Say for instance, you lost um, your car. Say for instance, you lost a car. And you know, you're struggling financially so you can't really get back your car. And you know, you know it's gonna hit your credit and on top of it hitting your credit, that's gonna affect the other things that you want out of life. So now it's like a snowball effect because you're constantly thinking about it all the time and you're stressed out. And then you don't try to not see a positive way, but you don't try to neutralize your emotions to it so that way you can think clearly get to get through it so you're depressed. And some depressed people, they just don't care. They have that forget it attitude. So I don't have money, but you know what? I'm just gonna spend more money or I'm gonna not pay a bill or you know, just anything to make them feel comfort like quickly. And then on top of you being negative towards yourself, cause that's the negativity that you're, you know, in the inside. Let's say for instance, that your friend just got a car and you just, your friend is excited to be around you and all this other stuff and it's like, you, you know how you're feeling. You know that you're being negative around this person and it causes their mood to just like sink or whatever. So not only are you infected with toxic and negativity, you're infecting someone else. And then you don't, I mean, you never know. Like, and then you can just want to have fun and unload like emotionally and mentally with someone. And that's the negative toxic friend that you're trying to unload with. So it's like all those things just they keep you stuck and nine times out of ten I'm sure people don't want to be stuck and one of those three things could be the reason why when you're going through something some type of trial or tribulation you just feel stuck and you feel like it's not going to end or you feel like the world is crashing down on you or whatever but that's not that's not it and you have to constantly tell yourself when you're going through something that this is not it eventually this is going to be over eventually I'm going to find a way through it eventually something has got to give because it will if you want it to really badly it will if you don't want it to your mind is going to shut down and you're not going to think of different ways different paths different connections sometimes just you're just not going to care so just take those three things we're going through something negative evaluate each because they're all three important the people you surround yourself with how you treat other people when you're going through something and the way that you structure your emotions and you know your mental state or how you try to take care of yourself so once you get those three things make sure that they're all in check then there's endless possibilities of turning around all of that negative stuff in your life but it always 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 starts with you you always have to be the first line of defense for yourself to i don't know like imagine you just taking one of those machines where they shock you and your heart like starts to beat again I don't know I'll think about it but I just imagine it like that like when when whatever that thing is that negative thing just puts you flat out on the table and start stops your heart from beating you know you have to be that electricity that just you know bring yourself back to life it's up to you it's not in anybody else's hands nobody's living the life that you live in nobody's on the same path as you and if you want to you'll get through it no matter what don't let anybody tell you that you can't don't look at the past where you may have done something where you may have reacted differently or in a more toxic way and it didn't really help like you every day is a new day to try and make it better whatever your situation is today is a new day that problem may have arose today but you can get your emotions get your life in a check today also you know it's just nothing set in stone it isn't I mean, all these countless stories, all of these different people and their different paths and journeys and stuff that you've heard or read about, like you realize that life is just not stagnant. Things are going to be thrown at you and you're going to dodge a lot of those things, but you just got, got to keep going. So that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on my next one. The next one is going to be a story time because I've been convinced that I have really good stories when it comes to my work history. Um, a lot of funny things, a lot of embarrassing things, but good things also. <laughs> anyway, I will see you on my next one. Bye.